Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo technical developer in this video we are going to discuss about a very important topic which is about security uh, in Odo security is managed uh, at three levels first uh, through menu items menu items level and second is uh, model based security and third one is record based security we uh, will discuss these all three types of security but in this video we are just going to talk about the model level uh, security and groups uh, also so as access and without security if you don't add uh, any security uh, for a model for any module then we will not be able to access that module uh, with a normal user so for example uh, we are working on open academy module and uh, we can access its models and records uh, through this user this is because that uh, we are logged in as a super user which is the system user and how we activated this uh, first we have to activate the debug mode and then uh, click this icon and here you will see the option become super user so this way you can activate the super user and super user or write all the security of odoo and you can access each and every uh, record and model in odoo using the super user so uh, access control mechanism must be configured to achieve a coherent security policies so first uh, one is group based access control mechanism uh, groups are actually created as normal records on the model race group set race dot groups is a an odoo model uh, so for example if we want to define any security group um, uh, then uh, we have to create a record inside the race dot more race dot groups model why security is so much important so for example in a company there are many roles uh, that have different level of security for example the ceo of the company would like to have the whole system security and the technical people will have the technical security like the super user security and uh, some people will uh, will be just sale person and they will have some limited security so in order to manage this kind of security access rights uh, you will have to first define a security group which is actually the record of the race dot groups model i will show you inside o that how you can find it uh, from the front end uh, first click on the settings menu and then uh, under the technical and then under the users and company you will see a menu items groups so here you can see all the groups that are defined inside Udo. so uh, i will just uh, explain the detail uh, later here and granted menu access via menu definition so inside the menu definition we can define uh the we can add the groups to which uh, we have we want to give the access of that menu for example in our case we have open academy module so uh, as we are logged in with a super user so therefore we can see this menu item but uh, and at the back end the security is not defined uh, but if i log out a uh, to this user and log in as a normal admin user or other normal user uh, i would not be able to see this uh, option so if i am no login as uh, admin and if i click here i can not see in the open academy menu item because the security is not defined for this menu for this module and for these models <laughs> So, uh, in order to show you uh, the module development process, I have lo am logged in as a system user to um, show you and to uh, try to uh, teach you that how you can handle these things. However, even without a menu, objects may still be accessible indirectly. So, actually, object level permission read, write, create, unlink. There are actually three, four types of security 
restrictions permissions level first one is read write and create and unlink so you can uh, give these access rights um, on the basis of the groups defined in res.groups model and uh, also the access right defined in ir.model that access must be defined for groups uh, they are usually inserted via csv files inside the module it is also possible to restrict access to specific fields so uh, you can also you also have the uh, options to restrict some specific fields like uh, if i want to give the access of this description field to specific group i can do this also so we have, we have a very flexibility regarding access rights in Udo. Like um, you can restrict a specific field on the view and our object using the fields group attribute. I will uh, explain this later. Access rights are defined as records of the model. Uh, same as uh, in this case, in case of groups, we define the records of raised groups model. And in case of access rights, we are going to define the record as ir.model.access. Each access right is associated to a model. Like uh, whenever you define any access right, you will have to define it for any certain model. Otherwise, you will not be able to add it. A group or no group for global access. So there are two options. You will have to either add a group for that security, or you will have to uh, keep that options empty. So if you add any group then that security will only be specific to that group but if you don't add any group then that security will be global and a set of permissions read write create and link so you can define these three options these four options also such access rights are usually created by a csp file uh, named after its model ir.model.access.csv so using this csv file you know, which have a special format which uh, we are going to discuss in this video we can define these access rights so we have an exercise for today uh, which is add access control through odo interface but uh, we are not going to add it through the interface but we will add it uh, to the backend like uh, through xml and csv file first of all uh, we have to create a user here users uh, inside the settings user and users model so let me just do it uh, from here settings and then uh, go to users and then click click uh, create button so name of the user is john smith so create a new user uh, why we are creating a new user because we want to check the new security group uh, like john at the rate of mail.com and click save it for the time being we don't want to give any specific access rights because we have not created any access right for our module and let me change the password uh, to make it a uh, simple password and uh after that uh, what we are going to do create a new group sessions read through settings user uh, groups it must be read access on the model so uh, here we have an options to add a security group like if you go here security uh, groups and then click create button we have options to add the application we can check the applications here like the category like that and here we did it uh, test name of the group and here we can add user uh, like we have added john smith and the same way we can uh, add access rights here uh, first of all we have to add the name and then the object uh, for example uh, sessions get me that session like this and then we can define read write create and delete means unlink access rights but we are not going to do it from uh, the front view we are going to do it through the backend 
so what we will do uh, go to the py charm and then create a new directory inside your module uh, which is security and then inside the security we will add a new xml file uh, raise groups the name can be uh, any uh, you can add any group uh, any name to the file but i want to mm, uh, make uh, the names that are uh, represent its functionality so i will add the definition here like this so df8 do and here uh, you will have to add a tag data and uh, the attribute no update equal to one what this means that uh, for security this is really important to add this uh, parameter because um, whenever you upgrade the module this file will load it and uh, if you had made any changes from the front you then that the, those changes will be replaced if you don't add the no update is equal to one if you add no update is equal to zero or you don't add this option then uh, the data will be replaced on each uh, module upgrade therefore it is important to add these options uh, so that the data did, uh, did not uh, replaced so uh, here we need to define a group uh, uh, like record inside the race group model first of all we have to add the id race groups uh, read session and model is erase that groups and then here we need to add a field name is equal to name and here we need to define our read sessions this is uh, this will be the label that will show on the screen read sessions and so this is it uh, you can define a group like this one and then we need to add this xml file so let me copy its name and then add in the manifest file so we will have to add it at the top uh, of the list of data and this is it we have added you no know, for the access rights like uh, this one for the model access right we have to add an xml file here uh, let me add another uh, sorry uh, csv file the format of the csv file uh, should be like this one ir.model.access.csv so you can copy it from here also so this will uh, be a csv file and uh, save it so we can just say it like a csv file we need a csv file so this is the csv file that we have added uh, and then we have to add uh, so after that uh, after adding the ir.model.access.csv file we have to uh, add security access on the model so what we can do we have to follow this format like let me copy the first uh, line so here let me define it what is this this is the id of the security record this is the name this is the model id and group id and then these are the four permissions rights like read write create and unlink so first of all we have uh, in order to add uh, any record uh, security record what we need to do let me copy it to make it easier and uh, faster here access other id we need to add the access uh, and then the model name model is uh, here we can copy from here uh, sessions model is open academy dot sessions so we can copy from here open academy dot session but instead of dot we need to add underscore and then here we need to copy paste our model name which is open academy dot session and here we need to define uh, exactly the model name but uh, we need to replace the dot with session uh, with underscore and uh, this is the full form of the model definition model open academy session 
here we have to add a group name so we have recently added this group so uh, let me copy the group id here and then add it uh, inside this and then at the start of the group we have to add the module name uh, to make it unique this is the access right uh, like um, first one is read uh, write uh, then create and then unlink so what are what kind of access right we have to create we have uh, to create new group read sessions through user setting it should have read access to the session model so we have to give only the read access so we will make the first one is uh, one and the rest will become zero what uh, this will do this will um, give the read access only to this uh, group let me add uh, this file in the manifest and we will add this after the group file security and then model.csv and then uh, let me upgrade the module after the restart so after the module upgrade uh, we will be able to see the new security group here and also i will show you the model access that i have added so let me uh, upgrade the module hope uh, the upgrade will work uh, fine so it uh, is upgraded successfully and let me go to the settings menu and then go to groups and here let me search for a session like we have added name like this so read sessions so this uh, uh, this uh, group has been added from through the backend code and if you go to the access rights we can see here open academy dot session is the name of the access right open academy dot session this is the object and it this group has only read access so our next step is to give this access right to the specific user here like it has a uh, edit john to make that a member of the session read group so go to the users and then uh, open the john smith and then click uh, edit to edit uh, the users record and then scroll down you will see here read session group that we have recently added so check this group and then save it and uh, in the in new my menu item i will uh, but uh, i will uh, and here i will uh, log in as a john smith user to check uh, whether i have access to that uh, uh, model and that menu item or not so uh, i i'm logged in as john smith uh, and click here to check and we can see that we have access to open academy module and click here so you can see here you have access only to sessions or menu but here we have uh, two menu items and we don't have access to the course menu because uh, this user don't have access to that model so uh, if i click here um, i can only uh, see i can only view this uh, records and this model because i cannot see any edit button here and i cannot uh, delete this record also so this way we can add security uh, for a model in udo and if you have any questions uh, you can uh, join our discard group link of the discard discard group is in the description below you can join the group and also uh, have a healthy discussion about Udo. so thank you guys for watching this video also uh, like this video if you like it and also subscribe to our channel this means a lot for us